YouTube, welcome back to another video. So, if you guys do not know me, I'm Parky Dude. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. So, in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a backflip on flat ground, otherwise known as a back tuck. And I'm also going to teach you guys how to land it every single time. For example, like this. Like that. That was an example of a back tuck or a backflip. Before you try this at home, just remember that I am not responsible in case you guys get hurt. But I do encourage you to try. But I am not responsible if anybody were to get hurt after trying this. Let's get right into the video. Here we go. So if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering like, how can I take my backflip to flat ground or how can I even do a backflip? So I suggest learning the back tuck or the backflip on the trampoline first. But if you do not have a trampoline, that's okay, there's another way to learn it too. If you do have a trampoline nearby or somewhere in a trampoline gym or somewhere, I'm gonna teach you how to do a backflip on the trampoline real quick. Here's how you do it. You're just gonna raise your hands up, you're gonna throw them down, and then you're gonna go up, bring your legs up, tuck, and then you'll make it around. So, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so that was a back tuck on the trampoline. You just have to get over the fear of it, and by getting over the fear of it, that means you're gonna have to bring out some pillows or do whatever. Also, another thing, don't be afraid to fail because if you're afraid to fail, you won't end up doing it. So that's my advice also. So just do that until you learn the backflip on the trampoline. So next, we're gonna progress from the trampoline to the ground. I'm gonna tell you how to do that. So you officially learned the backflip or back tuck on the trampoline, and you can do it well enough that you can land it. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna stand on the trampoline, standing, you're gonna go, and then try to do it with no bounce. If you can land it every time you try it, then you're good to go and it's time to bring it to the next level. So what you're gonna need is some kind of soft padding that you're gonna land on to learn it on the ground. You're gonna get on the ground and you're gonna think, I can't do this because it's hard ground and I've never tried this before because I think I'm gonna go for it and break my neck. But the thing is, if you're safe and you're careful, you are not gonna break your neck, I guarantee it. And also, if you're doing it right. So I'm gonna go get some padding and a mattress, and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like and how to practice with it after getting off the trampoline. So I'm gonna go get the mattress, here we go. All right, so you've got your little mattress thing, or you got some kind of padding behind you. So here's how you're gonna do it. What you're gonna do is I suggest taking off your shoes. So take off your shoes, throw them aside, because it's gonna be much easier doing it with shoes off and shoes on then you can slowly work your way up the shoes on so right now you're standing on your mattress right you've got your mattress out you're standing right here and you just can't do it you just can't commit and you can't do it and you have a bunch of pillows behind you you can't do it here's what I suggest gosh dang it, I'm trying to make a video you're gonna wanna in your mind just picture yourself on the trampoline back flipping and then you got to think to yourself I can do this I can do this I know I can do it you got to really want it and you got to really convince yourself because if you do not want it you will not get it keep your legs shoulder width throw your arms down go in a squat position just in the middle you're gonna want to jump and when you throw your arms back and jump at the same time bring your legs up to your chest and that's gonna make your rotation and you're gonna want to tuck and then make it go on your mattress to the point where you can just you just go for it and then you land on your knees There could be many things that you're not doing right. You could be leaning back too much to where you're fall you're going like all the way across the mattress. You could be not jumping high enough. You could be not throwing your arms up. You could be not tucking. So you gotta remember, you throw your arms up, you gotta jump, you gotta tuck, and you gotta not lean back so much. Think of yourself just squatting down like this, and then you squat down, keep your legs at like a 90 degree angle you gotta go like this bend down and then go for your back loop so that's my tip also if you guys know what a rodeo tuck is this is a rodeo tuck that was a rodeo tuck if you do the rodeo tuck you're more likely to land it how you would do the rodeo tuck one is you fully extend rodeo tuck and then land it if you do not want to start out with the rodeo tuck i suggest just standing on the mattress going like this going up and doing your basic back loop I'm going to talk a little bit about where to put your feet after you can do it on the mattress. So once you've got it down on the mattress, you're going to want to go right here and you're going to want to go up and do it on the mattress. Okay. Okay, if you over rotated like I just did, you definitely got it on flat ground. And then eventually, you can kick away the mattress 
and then you can just get ready and you can just go for it and just believe in yourself that you can do it because I know that you can do it just think that you can do it believe in yourself and then just go for it and then do it if you do not want to do it on flat ground and you're just like I don't want to land on my knees or I don't want to hurt my ankles you obviously don't want to learn the backflip enough when you get it on flat ground I'm gonna show you how to get better at them okay so once you can get it on flat ground you can eventually work your way up you can have your shoes off and you can just go for it like this like that. There's many ways to tuck for a backflip. There's a rodeo tuck like I taught you guys. There's a normal tuck where you can go like this. You can also do the behind your legs tuck. It looks something like this. You can go for the normal backflip and then rodeo tuck at last minute. So you're just gonna go for your regular backflip, kind of like just twist your legs like that and like just bring it up here, bring it up to the side mid flip. But remember, don't do this if you aren't ready for it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna do a step back into it, start out like this. All right, so it looks something like that. I hope you enjoyed my backflip flat tutorial and how to land them better. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And also make sure to subscribe. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. Stay flipping lit. Roll the outro.